And this one's really fun. Not only is the beach across the street, but we've got a retro vibe in here that I think you guys are going to love. And it starts right out front. What? This place is very cool. We've got an A-frame. We got the little seats out here, but let me take you. Let me take you inside. Here we go. Bada boom. Bada boom. We have this very cool living space on this side. So you can see the retro theme, but a nice clean white palette as a background. But everything we have in here is paying tribute to the idea of having a retro retrofit, I call it. A little bit of nostalgia when you come in here. We've got that wallpaper on the back wall. We've got that vintage light. We kept the wood paneling on the ceiling, painted out the beams. I put in a matte black kitchen with leather strap door hardware. Pretty cool. Bit of a fun detail on the backsplash there. It's a brick with an embedded pattern. Fridges on that side. We'll get to the backyard in a minute, but I just wanna show you how nice this cabinetry looks in here. Switch it around and give you the dining area. Look at these lights. Believe it or not, those are the original lights in here. I left those. That is all I left were those four original lights because, boy, do they look good. And again, they're, they're totally authentically retro. Records on the wall, always super fun. We've got some advanced engineered hardwood flooring that's going to uh, manage through wear and tear. It can handle moisture. It can handle sand from the beach. Now, this room is a little bit sweet. It is kind of light pink, kind of dark pink. It's a bit romantic retro. Got the black window covers. And because these rooms were a little tight, I removed the closets completely and did more of a European open concept here. Still lots of storage, but it gives the room more of an open feel. There's four bedrooms in here. That was bedroom one. This is bedroom number two. If it wasn't retro enough for you over there, <laughs> we went a little more risky. Just did a couple different shades of yellow. This one would be the yellow room, obviously, with the shades, the linens, the wall color. And again, of course, we have the open concept closet. Still lots of hanging, still lots of storage. You can put things away in the drawers, but you got to remember, people are staying here for a week, maybe two tops. You don't need a tremendous amount of storage. We do have a renovated bathroom, beauty, beauty. Here it is. I went with a porcelain style terrazzo tile, a very retro style wall tile. As you can see there, a slim vanity, which makes sense. It's a little bit of storage around the corner here too. All right, so here we go. Back to the other side. Coming through bedroom number three. Voila, voila. The green room, of course, as you can see. Very green, very fun, super retro. Again, most of the walls, clean palette. Retro is all in bedroom number four. This one's a little more bold. Yeah, it's always nice to have something a little bit more fun. Look at those lamps, right? Thinking a little sideways on those. But everything here, paying tribute again to the era of the property, 60s, 70s style. I'm gonna take you through the kitchen to the backyard. This is where things get pretty wild. You wanna talk about a fun vacation yard? Wait until you see what we've done out here. Oh yeah, here it is. We got a tiki bar. Tiki bar right here as soon as you come out the door. It's always nice to have a bar. And there it is, kind of fun with that thatched roof, you got nothing but party times right here. And of course, if we look beyond the bar, I mean, how much more fun can you have? I got the three tiki umbrellas, we got the double hammock, we've got the picnic benches, some of them even have game boards painted on them. That was a fun thing that we did. We painted the checkerboards right on there. It's hard to lose your games when they're painted right on the tables. A little bit of a lounge in area. Look at that. And of course, no vacation property would be done without an awesome fire pit. Gonna give you the quick tour down here. 
when people come to rent this place, they're gonna have games they can play when they get back here. They can chill in the hammock. They can lounge here on the deck. They can sit at the tiki bar up top there. And how nice is this to sit around the campfire, you know, on a cool night or when you get home from the beach. We put up the lights. It's looking, gonna look great at night. We got the pea gravel down there. Again, we just have this fun backyard so when people are home from the beach, they can enjoy the space. They can go across the street and go swimming at Wasega, which is always tons of fun. But the fun and the party never ends because we completely retro, retrofitted this place from top to bottom. This one's gonna be a home run for our homeowners. We're hoping to rent this thing out like crazy. And these tenants are gonna have a blast. Hope you loved it.